Yo, what's going on you guys? It's your boy your FWTI to the E here once again and yeah, this is my first boxing video. Now, you're going to look at the title of this video and think what footsteps that was a very long time ago. It's been 2 weeks now since this fight. Why are you talking about it? So, the reason why I want to talk about it is Amir Khan versus Sal Alvarez um was a better fight than I thought it would be. Um I thought Amir Khan would be bombed out in a round, um, if not first half a round, to be honest. Um, the way it went was the truth, which was the first meaningful shot um, Alvarez landed. Khan was, Khan was out there. He was gone. Uh, so the reason why I was touching this, to be fair, is what was Amir thinking? I mean, seriously, like, I'm not an Amir Khan hater. Um, I'm not a lover of Amir Khan, um, but he's a British fighter never, nevertheless, so I will support him anyway, but I know Amir's been chasing this big fight for a very long time with the likes of Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao, um, and they basically told him to go take a running jump because his name wasn't big enough. Um, so Alvarez came along and Golden Boy basically just took the piss out of Amir and said, you can have this fight, what do you think of it? And... Give Amir his due. I, I genuinely believe that he thought he could win it. I think he looked at the Mayweather fight against Alvarez and thought that um, Alvarez couldn't cope with his speed and movement. And Amir honestly thought that he could do exactly the same thing. Um, <laughs> I have to laugh, to be honest, because if, if I don't laugh, I'll cry for the poor bloke because he can't take a punch. So what was he doing messing around up at one, 155, I think it was made at? Um, 156 I mean it was just ridiculous um, Amir is nothing more than just a, a light work weight if anything um, I know he's competing at work weight now but even still um, he's a light work weight that's all, that's all he is um, so yeah I mean I've got to give him props he made it to the 6th round started off quick um, and it was right Alvarez couldn't cope with his speed at the beginning um, as the first 3 rounds went on Alvarez started cutting down the distance, getting closer and closer. Round five, Alvarez just started taking everything away from him, um, cutting down, hitting him with punches, and that was it. Round six came, Alvarez knew he, to be honest, Alvarez looked like he knew he had him. And boom, there it was, that one one big right hand that laid him out, pretty much killed him in, <laughs> in the ring, to be fair. Um, so, yeah, it was a gamble, a big, big gamble. I mean... If it wasn't for the fact of Canelo fought Alvarez, um, Canelo Alvarez took on Floyd Mayweather. I don't think Amir would have taken that fight or taken that gamble, but he thought he could go out there and make a statement um, like Floyd did, and he thought he'd law Floyd back to, to take this fight that he'd been craving with him. Um, spoiler alert, Amir, you don't want none of Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> really, like, really injury, you don't want none of that. So, yeah, so it ended bad for Amir. Um, spent the night in the hospital. Um, so yeah, and another thing I just want to touch on as well, like this thing with Amir Khan and Kell Brook. Now I have to talk about this because Kell Brook straight away afterwards said, "Ah, oh, I'll fight you next." Blah blah blah. Kell Brook's got to understand one thing. He came from the same gym as a guy called Junior Witter, right? Some people might have heard of Junior Witter, others would of, and he chased a fight with Ricky Hatton for years. Doing the same thing Kel's doing, which is calling him, calling him out, calling him names, doing this, saying, rah, rah, I'm going to knock you out, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, good that. Amir now is just going to treat Kel Brook exactly like Ricky Hatton did to um, Junior Witter. People wanted to see it. People wanted to see Hatton shut Junior Witter up. Um, they wanted to fight. Junior Witter was praying for it more than anything else. Like He was banking his whole career on this fight with Hatton. That's what he really, really wanted. And... Kel's doing a lot of the same things. Um, Kel needs to fight a big name as well. I mean, he needs to fight a big name. I think he sees Amir as his big name on the record that that he wants to knock out and it's going to like put him up there in the stratosphere. It's a big UK domestic fight, I feel. I don't think it's a big fight worldwide. Um, but I've got to say, Amir's going to do what Ricky Hatton did and he's not going to give him that fight. It's, it's, it's not going to happen. Um... Amir is not going to take it, especially now after a big knockout loss to Canelo, like he had the ease. Not going to take it. I mean, um, I see, honestly, see, I could see him fighting Garcia again in a rematch, and I could see Amir getting flattened again, and that'd be done. Amir would be gone. Um, 
and he'll just be known as the guy who won two like what weight titles lost them both spent too much time out the ring chasing stupid big fights when he should be keeping himself active and and not fighting he, he should have just been keeping himself active and ticking over and, and fighting people and keeping himself in the profile even if it's no name people but doing it in America he would have made the attention I mean Hatton went out to America and he fought um, Castillo he also took on Juan Urango and he also took Luis Cazazo as well for the world weight title and they're not big names um, but he made a big enough stir that when he opened his mouth said I want to fight for, fight for Mayweather Mayweather took the fight so I think that's the difference between the two. So, yeah, this is just my first quick boxing video, and I thought I'd do my thoughts on um, Amir versus Canelo. Um, and another thing that made me laugh, and I have to laugh about this, is is the rehydration uh, weight going into this fight. Amir, if he was smart, knowing how big Canelo was, should have had a re, um, rehydration clause in the contract. Because from what I heard, Canelo walked in that ring that night at 180 pounds to Amir's 160 I mean, that is ridiculously big. No wonder Amir took a shot like that and ended up the way he did. Um, so, yeah, madness, Amir, madness. But hats off to you, Amir, because you're a braver man than me because I wouldn't get in there with Alvarez if I was you. Um, but, yeah, you show you had kahunas and you've done the business. Now, this weekend I did say that um, Ricky Burns was fighting and I was going to do a Ricky Burns video, but I got my dates wrong and Ricky Burns is not this Saturday, but a week on Saturday. At the SE Hydro in Glasgow. So this weekend is the return of the haymaker David Hay. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do one on the David Hay fight at the weekend. So look forward to that. Also this weekend, um, I will be doing another video for the wrestling part of it. Um, because there's a big pay-per-view of wrestling coming up at the weekend. So I'll be doing that as well. And yeah, so this is my first boxing video done, dusted, spoke about Amir. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and remember to like, subscribe, comment and peace guys.